Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good. Welcome to the Be Yourself and Keep It Real podcast with the man over here, the man with the plan, the dude in charge, Mr. Hook Brown, and y'all know me, the woman who knows what's going on, Real Ebony Queen. Tonight, we get to talk about new people, new age women. Here's a question for you. True or false? Do you think that new age women don't know anything about being mothers or mothers? And uh, I'm going to pose this question uh, to my co-host here to see what he thinks. And, and then what's the definition of new age women? I mean, is this women of today or is it a certain generation that we're speaking of? Um, oh, before we get to that, haha, mm -hmm. we do have a video. So we watch the video first and then... But the video, you won't be able to hear the sound to it, though, so it don't make no sense. What? You won't hear the sound to it. You won't hear the video sound? Are you sure? You ain't, you ain't hear the sound of it, so... It don't... Why? Well, but there's... Well, damn, can they read that? Why not? It didn't, it, didn't have, it didn't have the sound on it. Oh, well, heck, now <laughs> I wanted the pe I wanted the people to hear the video. <laughs> but it wasn't playing on that. Oh man, uh, I hit you by mistake. <laughs> Dang, hey, when that happens, um, <laughs> that's what she said. Anyway, uh. So that's the time. Well, see now it's kind of hard to do it because I like the way she puts it, though. But well, you know, um, you can put your own. I mean, if I on. share, if I share, if I share the screen, they're not gonna hear it. You ain't gonna be able to hear it. So we just, you know, maybe just go on with it. Just put our own spin on it. Okay. Well, the video that we had, and I tell you what, um, we probably put the link in the chat so that other people can actually see. You know, I didn't even think about that. I uh, put the link in the chat so that other people can actually see it. <laughs> yeah, so I can cut it up. It's that way, uh, they can actually watch it and get their own ideas on it. Uh, no, that's my cloud. I can't do that. <laughs> so I downloaded it. So uh, let me go in. So anyway, we are going to basically the whole thing is is that there are a lot of people out there that believe that see and I thought I turned it off uh, that new age women that the women today don't really know what uh, how to actually be be wise. Today. Be mothers, be the, the, the woman of the house, as it were. Um, mm -hmm. They were saying that women are not teaching their children how to clean and not clean, the, um, you know, keep house, clean, cook, do laundry, take care of kids, be a wife to her husband, and things like that. Um, the only was saying that we're teaching them to be independent women and uh, bad witches as it were. I forgot what the terminology she used. She used a lot of better terminology than I did. But anyway. Um, and uh, so, do you agree with that? But um, I'm going to see what your, what, what your take on being independent. What you're trying to say. Like, independent. Oh, and independent. <laughs> well, I also saw I also saw another video earlier today um, in one of the group chats that I was in that this guy was saying that uh, women are trying to be independent as in like no men at all in their lives. Like they didn't have fathers, they didn't have brothers, they don't want a man, they you know, they just want to be completely independent and lonely. And I I really don't think that is uh the truth. The definition of independent women as women see it. Mm -hmm. Um for the most part, and I and I always I'm a, I'm a metaphorical person. I always use analogies to explain what I what I mean. Um, so, for example, mm -hmm. I go camping. I used to go camping with a group that I really like, trust, mm -hmm. can hang out with them, uh, pay them $75 for them mm -hmm. to feed me. 
And we're talking uh-huh. first class stuff, okay? I mean, we're talking a caterer comes in and, and you know, he goes, can he's there for the whole three, four days that we're there, okay? Uh-huh. Now, I can perfectly rely on these people to give me food while I'm there camping. Uh-huh. However, every time I go camping with them, I am completely self-contained, uh-huh. which means I have my own way. I have my way of, let's try that again. I have my own food. Uh-huh. I have a way to cook it if I want to. If I'm not cooking, I, you know, I have my own cook stove. I have all my camping gear as if I was by myself. Mm-hmm. Now, that is my definition of an independent woman. Okay. You can be reliant on somebody that you trust, especially if you're married to them or whatever. But when the shit hits the fan, you need to be able to take care of yourself. But uh, my independent woman is like when they know and like... Um not a cook, not a clean, not to keep a house. You know what I mean? They not a, you know, take care of home. They know how to, you know, to treat they they husband, you know, man, you know, like a woman's supposed to do. Well, that but, and that's if you're if you're married and you have children. Yeah, I get that part. Yeah, but like even I'm if saying, but you know? even if you don't have kids, even if you yeah, well, if, well, how, if you don't, yeah, I'm, I I get that part. That's what I'm saying. You're completely self-contained. If you happen to be uh, in a in a situation. You don't have a husband. You don't have kids. You're not in your mom's house. You're just there. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden now, somebody needs you to take care of them. Mm -hmm. You need to know how to take care of them. And that's Mm -hmm. cooking. That's cleaning. That's, you know, uh, you don't necessarily, you're not necessarily their wife. and You're not necessarily their mother. But somebody needs you to take care of them. So... That you're right. That does entail being independent, because there is a bit of an extension to not just taking care of yourself. You know how to take care of yourself. You're going to do things that you like, and then not necessarily that might not necessarily mean that somebody else is going to like what you like. For example, me personally, I will wash my clothes. I wash all my clothes. But because I work from home, I don't have to iron any of it. But you got some women that are, um that don't even wash clothes. They'll just throw that shit on the floor and just buy something new with them the next day. Yeah, I, I, that shit. I, that shit I, used to I, go on a lot back in the day. Everybody's still going on right now today. Like I knew motherfuckers like that back in the day. That like throw the I'm shit pretty on the floor sure. I'm pretty and sure. Buy shit out. just to put on the next day. And I'm I'm pretty sure they're out there and study they watching have, they shit. They, they shit be almost things. to the ceiling. I done seen shit like almost to the ceiling and shit. I was like, God damn, what do you watch these clothes or nothing? Hey, if you like it, I love it. Okay, so I just won't come over. That's all. But, anyway, <laughs> but in the my thing is in all so, type of ways though. It comes like well, it does. It does. New age of, it comes in different ways though. You know, you got women who um don't know how to raise kids. True. You know what I mean? Hopefully, hopefully they don't have any. <laughs> but I'm, I'm just I'm saying. serious. They, you got women that don't know how to raise kids. I know let me that. Tell you something. And the, the thing biggest is, example, is that I'm gonna be the big example right now, right? Women that have boys, right? And when they have their fathers that are still exist, right? right? The mamas them do the the boys the type of way that they don't even want to be around their daddy. They don't even want to spend time yeah, with them. Yeah, they yeah, don't yeah. want to do nothing. Yeah, they don't brainwash them too much yeah, that huh? they don't want to. They don't even want to be around them. So that saying is that is new not age true. women. Listen, that's that come that fall all up under that same topic right there. Mm, yeah, sort of, kind of. No, it actually, all fall that same it depends. Now. It depends on. See, the thing is, is that you're actually counting the bitterness of a woman. And the fact that she is actually doing that. Bitter with not all not all women who have boys that are trying to be independent and raising them are trying to pit them against their 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 exes. He might not he might not even be alive. Okay. But, uh, but you hear what I said. I say the I ones that exist. You, and that you're you're saying the ones that this, exist. Uh, that want to be part of that That's kid's cute. life. That, okay, fine. Okay, I get that part. But it's at the same time. A lot of those women who do that are bitter towards 
the man that they had the kid from. It doesn't necessarily mean they don't have don't know how to raise children. Now, granted, it's not a good way to raise a child to have animosity towards her dad, but you, I'm taught we're basically talking about being wives, being mothers, and raising children in butter, butter a typical said, environment. They call it, they call the boys too much. That's that's true. They do. They keep the titty in their some, mouth. Some do. They some keep do the titty in their mouth. You know what I mean? <laughs> but they're taking the titty out of their mouth. They leave the titty in their mouth. <laughs> That's, that's a all. that's a very cool act, and that's I've seen that. Say, that's why I want to put it. You 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 just wanted to say that from the beginning. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you you but just man, it. Any, anybody gets a chance to see say titty on the air, yeah. <laughs> but listen, I'm gonna put it like this: You got in this world, you got fifty fifty men's. I have a problem with they they saying this this problem right now in this in this new generation that how the women's them. Um, raising the kids and how they turn the kids against their father and all that kind of stuff like that. You know what I mean? Right. So right. that that really is what's going on right now today. Yeah. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? And, and that's and a lot of that. It's a lot like of that today. going on. Yeah. And for today, we're talking about the women because tomorrow, you know, we're going on the men. We can talk <laughs> about the men all day. <laughs> we're going to crush men Monday. <laughs> you can talk crush about them Monday. all day. Anyway. Um, but yeah, you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. They are out there because... You can actually tell by the the generation that we have today. I mean, it's not even just this generation, but when you look at, and honestly, I don't know it's if it's becoming more prevalent or we're seeing more of it because you got to remember, social media is a lot you know more widespread than it was ten years ago, even fifteen years ago. Mm-hmm. So. Are we seeing it more because people are featuring it more on social media? They're featuring it more on Instagram or, you know, TikTok or whatever? Or is it really that big of a problem? Now, me personally, I think it is that big of a problem. And the reason that it's more prevalent on social media is because it's that big of a problem. But the thing is, is that it may actually be bigger than, you know, than they showing on social media, or not? That's right now. That's the style we're going on right now. That's the trend right now. Yeah, Fucking the kids, the mental, the mental, the mentality up, and and um, turning them against their father. That's the new shit. What's going on right now in this world? Just know. like, just like sex, sex, drugs, and, and um, and murder. That's that's the style right now. Sex, murder, man. These are the officers. so. You know what I mean? So it's, it's it's all type of thing. You know, it's that all that that falls up under all kind of stuff. You got some okay, so who smoke weed with their kids. <laughs> yeah, I know. I've seen who that. Who sit down and smoke uh, joints with their kids? So, so what example are you setting? So basically, you actually agree to our uh, subject at hand. New age women don't know anything about being wife and mother. Right. Okay. So, is there anybody out there who has an opposing opinion besides? <laughs> we definitely will welcome you to uh, join us, and you will have to be, uh, you know, you can click the link. Um, basically, if you want to join us, you definitely can, because uh, we like to talk to our people. We like to talk to our audience, because we like to get all kinds of opinions on here. Let me ask you a question. Okay. Butter, butter, we could get you on here now. If you want to get on here, I could get you in and send the link that you come on in here. You can say what you got to say. That's you know if you want to do that. It's but he said he do. said in the comment that um, back in the days the mom wouldn't allow the kids to disrespect the fathers. No mores are taught today, which is true. Which is true. Yeah, yeah. This is like we were talking about the other day because yeah. you you can only you can only teach your children up to what you already know. Right. And and if you get and you, if you've been disrespecting your mother and you've been disrespecting your dad, then they're going to see that and they're going to emulate that. And that's how, guess what? They wind up running all over you, which, hey, that goes back to like our two podcasts ago. Y'all need to go watch what? that, by the way. That's a good podcast. 
What? The one where we said um, that, that parents let their children run all over them. Oh, yeah, yeah. that's all it is. Yeah, that was that was two podcasts. That was three. Actually, it was three podcasts ago. That was the one we did before the um, before Valentine's Day. Mm hmm. So, and that's in yeah. It's it's a series. It's a cascade of disrespect that starts from you know children having children, children having kids, and then they realize that they're adult. They're they're parents now and they think they're I'm adults now about, but it's not the same i'm talking about butter coming on on the screen you your face will be on here you, you'll be in the box that's what i'm talking i about. can't see i can't see the text so i have no that's idea. that's on ig that's on that's on ig oh he's on oh he's on instagram yeah that's on instagram oh okay um i don't know if i follow him on instagram see now hmm but a lot of that's going on today and they don't even teach their kids how to wash clothes, do none of that. Wash their ass good, none of that. <laughs> so that's, I'm just telling you, that's what's going on today. I have so, 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 so many. Uh, I have so many stories about that, but I can't do that because I think there are people out there that I can't do that. <laughs> you can talk about this shit. You ain't saying no name. They would know though. <laughs> man, listen, a lot of these motherfuckers know. don't even teach their kids how to wash their ass good, man. I mean, they be having an old on them and all, especially them boys. A lot of them little just out there have old on them like a motherfucker. Don't even teach them how to wash their ass or nothing. Walk around here smelling like onions. Mm. <laughs> That's how I figured out that my kids were not using the odor in because I don't like onions. <laughs> and so it's like, wait, did you put all the odor in? Yeah, no, you didn't. How you know? you smell like onions? Go put on some deodorant. Yeah, I don't like it. I don't like it. it. So, so yeah, I mean, we are certainly welcome. I mean, if anybody out there wants to uh, come and join us on the podcast and and uh, show your you don't even have to show your we'd love for you to show your face. You don't have to, but we would love for you to. Because we would love to see our lovely met young ladies and uh, gentlemen. And, uh, to, you know, it's really easy. It's, it's just much easier to talk to a face. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Man, in the household, in the household, a lot of these kids don't even know how to brush their teeth. Their mama don't even teach them how to brush their teeth, wash their face in the morning. They and you know what? School. And the thing and about I, it I, is and that, that... And that's sad, though. And that's well, sad. And, and you know what happened? You know where that comes from, believe it or not. It's something, you know, something else that we were talking about also um, with kids having kids is a lot of them don't realize that they have to teach them how to do that. A lot of them think they're just going to know how to do it once they get to a certain age. And we're not animals. <laughs> we're not you know, four-legged animals that are out there having all this instinct stuff. And the thing is, even animals teach their young how to do stuff. Yeah, how to hunt and get out there and, you know, be take care of themselves. But yeah, that name, exactly. that name. That don't but that's what happens to is that human. Keep, you know, children having to. children, young children having children. Um, and I'm talking like, you know, 12, 13, 14, 15 year olds having babies don't realize that a lot of the stuff that they know, they had to be taught. And so you have to teach your children. And that includes, you know, knowing how to not only cook a full meal, but change a tire. Not just washing your clothes, knowing how to separate them. Make sure you put hot water for your whites in the bleach and make sure you put bleach in your dish water the whole nine, you know, and go get your oil changed. I mean, you don't have to know how to get your oil changed, but it'd be helpful. You'd save some sure. money. When like, I was coming up, you know, sure, when I was coming up, my mama taught me a lot of shit, man. Like, you know what I mean? I'm talking about, like, how to wash my clothes. You know what she used to tell me? Oh, I'm teaching you all this now. So when you get older, you don't need no woman to do none of this for you. She taught me how to wash my clothes. She taught me how to cook. She taught me how to clean. She taught me all that. So, so basically, that you're, in, so in basically you're an independent man. Yeah, I mean, that's instilled in me. You know what I mean? So I know how to do all that. You know what I'm saying? Right. So mm -hmm. it's nothing that, you know, you know, everybody wants somebody, needs somebody, but, you know, 
I done had women in my past say, damn, you don't even need me. What you need me for? Because you know how Nobody to do everything. Needs. Nobody you, needs you, anybody. You know how to do everything. You, you got everything. You don't, you don't need me to do nothing. Yeah, no, no. You know what I mean? Oh, I do need you to do. I do need what? you to do something. It has nothing to do with that. Trust and believe. Okay. That's, that's what you got to tell them. It's like, look. All, but listen, that's, I all, don't need that's you, all I need to do. But I, I all, want you around. So there's certain things I can't do for myself. <laughs> right. Or certain things I don't want to do for myself. Right. right. But that's, yeah. I mean, and that that's just it. You're an independent man. Right. And just like I said, you know, when I go camping, I'm completely self-contained. But like I said, if shit hits the fan, I'm going to be able to take care of myself. Right. And the same thing with you. Right. If Even if you're another woman for the rest of your life, you will be full fat and happy because you know how to cook. But see, that's like it. That's she taught me how to survive. So right. I know how to survive. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. like I always I always sit down and I tell some like I'll be saying it to some of my partners. I say. If they drop you in, a, in another city right now with nothing, would you think you could be able to survive? I know I can. They're like, nah, shit. I'm gonna have, I don't know what I'm, what I'm, what to do. Shit, I ain't gonna know what to do. Shit, I know how to survive. Shit, I'll probably, you know, once I get, there, I build a whole empire. I have a whole shit it? going on in about ninety days. <laughs> well, on, one on, of the things I used to time. teach my nephews. One of the things I used to teach my nephews, and I'm actually teaching my son and my daughter as well, uh, is there are three things, three main things that you have to protect in your life. As soon as, as the, and it's not even as soon as you become an adult, as soon as you actually acquire each one of these things. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, the first one, obviously, is your life, your own life. Mm -hmm. Okay. The second one is your driver's license. Third one's your credit. Three things. Those three things. If you were in the middle of downtown, I can't even say downtown New York City, because New York City is downtown everything. If you're in the middle of New York City and you have those three things in your arsenal, you will not have a problem getting a job. You will not have a problem uh, finding a place to live. You will not have a problem with anything because hey you're protecting your life by getting a job you know how to drive you have a driver's license so you can identify yourself mm -hmm. because you'll need that in addition to your social security number um and the credit's going to help you get place to stay or a car or you know anything else that you need that you get your uh your first you got to get paycheck isn't going to cover first you got to get well, some money first well, you, right. how you, the credit gonna come with hand, but where you gonna get the money from? No, no, no. I'm saying once you get all those, all three of those, and you get dropped yeah. in the middle of New York City, you can get a car on credit. If you have an 800 credit score, you can buy a car with no money down. But okay? you don't know what's the rules in New York. New York might want money down with that, even though you got an 800 credit score. <laughs> so you're gonna be sitting at a deal like, damn, I don't have no money. What you gonna give them a check? And they hope it, it'll give you 30 days so you get around the money or something like that. But that used to be the thing they used to do back in the days. People you've never been to New York. You've never been to New York, have you? I ain't never been there, but I'm gonna go there. I you don't need a there. car. You don't need a car in New York. You really don't. No, you don't need a car in New York. They have a subway system and a bus I system. Know. New, uh, have, Washington too. Washington got one too. Yeah, but you need a car in Washington. <laughs> but um, because you know. Washington, the, the D.C. um is not as big as it as people think it is um washington dc is probably as big as metro miami mm -hmm. well, that's how big that. D, that's how when big I, dc is when i went there it was it was good when i went there though yeah, when i went there it, it, it was it pretty good like they got a little underground look you know Mm -hmm. Subway and all that and stuff. I, like I, that. I used to, I used to drive a truck. I've been through DC more times than yeah. I can count on my hands and toes. Uh, DC is about as big as Metro Miami. So when you say DC, you can yeah, you don't need a car to be in Metro DC because they they have the PATH trains and they have um, MTA. Um, however, once you get outside of DC, Baltimore is forty miles away, something mm -hmm. like that. 
Um, basically, everything that surrounds DC is mostly um, trees, flowers, chirping birds, and um, the suburbs. Right. But New York City, all five boroughs. You do not. You literally do not need a car as long as you have a subway. As long as you have a subway um, map in, in in all five boroughs, you do not need a car. Now, once you hit Long Island and start going eastbound on Long Island, then you might have an issue. But yeah, in New York, you don't need a car. So if you have those three things: your credit, uh, good credit, good driver's license, and you've Decided to keep your life. Hey, you're let alive. Me, let me let me, let me you, ask you a question. What's that? What what that you learned? What did your mother instill to you that that you, that that don't apply to you on that own topic? What did my mother talk, mm -hmm. like actually teach? Okay, so my mom taught me how to cook. Mm -hmm. Taught us how to clean. Uh, taught us how to wash clothes. And I say us because it's me and my sister. Mm -hmm. So, you know, she's got two girls. Um, for the most part, for our lives, it's always been me, her, and, uh, and, and my sister. Okay. Mm -hmm. She divorced my dad, my biological dad, when I was two. Mm -hmm. I divorced my, my my stepdad when I was 23. <laughs> yeah, I was mm -hmm. 23. Um, so she's always been that person. Now, the thing is, is that that's what she taught us. As you know, actually standing there and say, "Okay, you need to do this, 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 and this. Is how you do it." But me being me, being me, I'm the type of person that I will actually watch and observe, and actually learn stuff passively. Mm -hmm. For example, I tell this story to anybody who will hear me. My mother used to work for a large um, insurance company when mm -hmm. I was a teenager. And when she used to be the data processing manager. Now, I say that because this is back when computers was using punch cards. And the computer that ran the business was the whole ground floor or the basement of a building. Okay, mm -hmm. so you're talking the 80s. Mm -hmm. But as computers advanced and got more sophisticated, her position got let go. Now, keep in mind, she'd been there 20 years. So she got let go. They gave her a nice little savage package. And she's drawing retirement because, of course, she was vested. Now, my mother did not have to work. Like I said, she had a very good severance pay. And she didn't have to work. Mm -hmm. My mother took a job as the party coordinator for McDonald's. Mm -hmm. I was 16. My mother was 49 years old. 40. Mm -hmm. Hold on. I got to do the math. <laughs> uh, 30. Wait. Hold on. Yeah. 39. I'm almost 39 years old. Mm -hmm. I was 16. Didn't feel that. I had no idea. I knew she'd been like that. I knew she worked at McDonald's. I can never say to anybody that I wouldn't do certain things as far as jobs are concerned, that it would be beneath me because I've seen my mother do it mm -hmm. because she needed to take care of us. She said, and we actually talked about it not recently, actually I got back, back home, is that she knew that she wanted to make sure that we stayed comfortable no matter what was going on in her job life or my dad's job life or whatever. She wanted to make sure that we didn't feel the impact, and we didn't. Had no idea. We still ate. We still went to the events. I was in the band. I went to um, went to Tallahassee uh, for a band trip. The Rattlers track up there at uh, at Fam. So that was my senior year in high school. Mm -hmm. So I did not feel anything. So that was one of the biggest things that really impacted me as a person because I learned that you got to go hard for the people you care for, mm -hmm. you know, and subsequently when I came homeless, it kind of, kind of came back to me on that one because I, like I said, I worked 24 seven to make sure my kids were comfortable while we didn't have a place to stay. And right. so 
I got that from my mom. I tell everybody all day long. Yeah, I got that from my mom because she taught me not actually teaching me, but I watched that and I saw that and I learned that from her. So that's one of the things that kind of really bothers me about people who don't know, like, you know, like our subject, that don't know anything about being a wife or mother, because that just means they weren't paying attention. Mm -hmm. Because even if somebody didn't sit there and physically tell you how to boil an egg, you have to have enough incentive to want to learn how. And that's the thing, you know, like I said, babies having babies are expecting you know, they pop it out. They can feed them. Okay, you know, I remember this from, you know, my baby dolls. And then when they get to a certain age, it's like, okay, aren't you supposed to know how to do that already? No, you have to teach them that. And if you're not doing it, or they Shit. don't see you do it. Actually, they don't see you doing it. That's the whole thing. Because a lot of, of the younger parents, like I said, you know, like we were talking about the other day, they'll give them a, you know, tablet or a or, uh, you know, tablet or game or something most, like that. And most, of them them game, else. most of them give microwave dinners and shit to walk. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, they pop, and don't get me wrong, I mean, that that has its place because I ain't gonna lie. Um, when I was in, um, when I was in postpartum, the what that, that, that ghetto juice is? Hawaiian punch. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. You go. Hey, that fruit juicy red, man, okay? That shit, so let me man, tell you, when I was in like postpartum, when I was in when I was taste, like, back in the days, Hawaiian punches if you taste good, right? That shit tastes like sugar free right now. Oh, oh that's, the that's, ones who get the food side, that's all they have in the house. That, that's, that's, because, that's, because the that's because you had that red. That's because you made the red Kool-Aid. It's not it's not red Kool-Aid, trust me. Red Kool-Aid is way better than Hawaiian punch, okay? <laughs> but yeah, when I was in postpartum depression, um, after I had my daughter. Uh, my son was actually. Let me see. Yeah, my kids are two. My kids are twenty-one months apart. So my son was uh, going on two. Um, it was nothing for me to feed him oatmeal every day. Okay, every day, like every day. Um, now thankfully he liked oatmeal. <laughs> he liked oatmeal a lot. Um, but that 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 does have a place. But you can't do that all the time. You know, you got to come out of it. You got to say, okay, we're going to have some eggs. We're going to have some bacon. You know, you like pancakes. Well, good. Make some pancakes, whatever. But, you know, like you were saying, microwave meals and stuff like that. Yes, it does have a place and a time, but it's not for the first five years of your kid's life either. Yeah, some kids <laughs> eating that shit to the day. Till they get 10, 11 years old, they won't still feel that, <laughs> that Well, and, um, you know, I personally... Say something's better than nothing. Yeah. But, you know, I understand what you're saying. And the then and, and again, if you are not if you're a little kid and you're not watching your mom sit there scrambling the eggs or you know making the pancake mix, even if you have I used to make pancake mix from scratch all the time and I used to hate it. Okay, because my brain just did not like all the freaking steps. But then I realized that, you know, maybe if I just get the instant stuff, they'll like it and they'll be fine. And they did. And I was cool with that. But you still got to get up and you still got to mix it. You, I still put the, the cinnamon in it and the vanilla in it. And if they don't see you doing all of that, then they're going to think, oh, okay, well, then this is food. Pop it in the microwave. At least they're eating something. Right. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, I mean, for the most part, yes, they're eating something. No, it's not teaching them anything, and that's and that's really the the hard, no, the easy hard part. Um, like well, my, because like you're thankful stuff. that they're eating something, but at the same time, you really need to teach them how to. You know, yeah, like my themselves. sons will come over here. I teach them how to cook and stuff like that. I show them how to cook and stuff like that. I, you know, my, uh, and I even be uh, teaching. Them. I say, man, y'all gotta like when they at their house, they shit look like a tornado went through that shit. But when they here, I told them, man, you gotta keep my shit clean. You gotta, you gotta clean. I ain't on that. I ain't on that shit. You know what I mean? Whatever they mama let them do over there. When you come here, man, my shit gotta stay clean. I don't be on that shit, man. Yeah, and and all. that's the, and that's the thing. You know, you gotta realize that 
They're gonna have they're gonna have their own relationship with her, and you're gonna and they're gonna have their own relationship with you, which is great because you know you you foster that good positive relationship. I get that part. Um, matter of fact, my ex husband actually sent me a picture today of our son cooking, and he made a uh, he made a hamburger that had uh, had the lettuce, the tomatoes, had the guacamole on there. Made, had the french fries on the side, and I'm like, oh, wow, that looks like a heart attack waiting to happen, but good going, son. Oh, I mean, my son likes to cook. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I'm I'm really proud, and I'm really glad. But, you know, my ex-husband likes to cook, too, because he owns a mobile wood-fired pizza oven, and he lives in Michigan, so don't don't t don't at me about hiring him, uh, but he's coming back to Florida. I hope soon, so maybe maybe he'll be available for uh, you to teach him something else. Part well, he's already he's already been like when they were here. I mean, not here, but, but never, when they were we never stop learning. We never stop teaching our kids. You got to keep teaching them because. <laughs> well, the thing is, is that. It's not so much, you know, it's not so much that we're teaching them, is that we need to instill the uh, the curiosity in what you're doing in what you're doing. You know, we have to instill curiosity in our kids. We have to encourage them to ask questions. And I know some people are like, oh my God, you asked too many why why is the sky blue? You asked too many questions. Hush. You right. know. People some people are like that. And, and what they don't realize is that that's going to stop them from asking questions. That's going to stop them from being curious. Right. You know, I used to put answers um, <laughs> when I was teaching my kids, the, you know, the, the little, uh, the one plus one, you know, just basic general math. I used mm -hmm. to put the answers on the board and it's like, okay, you figure out how to get there. And mm -hmm. they'll look at me like, well, tell us, give me, you got to tell them. Like, no, you're going to figure it out. And they get so eager to want to know how to get to the answer that they're going to sit there and listen to me actually show them how to get to the answer. Mm -hmm. um, but a lot of people don't instill that in their children. They just much rather, they basically either want their kids to be slaves, uh, punching bags, um, basically um, product bags, uh, status symbols, man. But you got not some try to don't teach even them. Cook goddamn, don't even know how to fry chicken. Don't even know how to cook chicken. Like smother or nothing. Well, that's that's actually a skill. So, you that's know what? A, that's you a know, skill. Let me, now, let me, let me, let me, let me, I'm going to say something. I'm going to say something right now, right? When I was out there, right back in my days, right? If I okay. if I mess with a woman, right? Thank you for saying so. Listen, what I'm going to say. I'm here. When you know a woman been taught, right? When you with her and her ministration on, you should never know that's on unless she tell you. Menstruation, you mean? Her ministration, meaning like her when she her, uh, her period. That's what I'm saying. Like you should never know right. it's on unless she tell you. You got some women be shit be on, and then you be knowing they shit on. That shit be all over the tour. They be like all type of shit. You know what I mean? That shit there. You should never know. No. No, that mean they mom really. ain't taught them how to like deal with that shit. Yeah, but see, like I said, you know, you can only teach up to what you know. I mean, for the most part, there are some girls that have had kids after their first period, so they have no idea what to do after that. <laughs> but that comes that what comes in play when the mom don't even much teach them. That called teaching them. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and right, like, let about. me show you something. When my daughter, I actually over, right, did. I used to tell them, when you go in there and take a bath, you wash between your legs real good. You wash under your arms, everything. I just tell her that when they need to come to my house. Good. So we have 50, 50, we have 50, 50 tires. So I tell them, man, wash your ass good. Yep. I say, ain't no man gonna want no woman smelling and having all the time. You know what I mean? That's what I used to tell them when you grow up. <laughs> so basically, you want them to keep clean because of a man, not to, just but because. You, I'm, it's not, not about that. because I'm it's. About, <laughs> That's, in reality, I'm, just saying, I'm, I'm still just saying what you though, just said. When they get old enough, when they start dating, you got to at least have your hygiene's got to be together. So in other words, hold on. Let me finish what I was going to say. 
So in other words, you and my, uh, you're teaching them how to keep themselves clean for a man yeah. as opposed no, it, to no, I, no, that ain't how I said. I said person. you got to, I said you got to stay clean as a person. I said you got to make sure your, you know, when you get older and you starting to, you know, dating a man, you got to make go. sure your high jeans is up to date. That's what I used to tell them. I used to have talk to my go. daughter them all the time. You get what I'm saying? What you need to say is and if you don't keep yourself clean, you're going to have a lot of infections and that will affect man, you listen, when you I get older. Tell them all that. You I don't tell them need all that. to do shit for another man. I mean, you don't need to do shit for men as far as that's concerned. If you keep yourself clean, in other words, to keep from getting sick, you will automatically be clean for him. That's mm -hmm. what you need to tell them. Mm -hmm. They don't need to be doing it for a man. They need to be no, doing it for themselves. They doing themselves. it for themselves. That's what I'm saying. I'm telling them to do it for themselves. Still, right? See, I always have a conversation with my daughter. Them, so you know, we talk about all that shit when we have we had that kind of conversation. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. like my sons, I tell them the same thing. When you you got to make sure you wash your ass good, because ain't no woman want no stank ass nigga. There you go. But you got some nasty motherfuckers that still sell us nasty stank ass nigga. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, so and it's probably and that's probably because and that's the ones who mama ain't taught them a value value of they self. Yeah, yeah. Either that or you, you know, know what I'm saying. They just they just what they call that. Um, they just settle. What? They just settle for what they what. what oh, they settle. Got. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying. You got niggas yeah. don't even take baths. Oh yeah, yeah. They're out there. They are you know absolutely out there. Well, yeah, I mean, and like I said, it just goes, it just goes back to you know, young babies having babies. Um, you can only But some of these women's now, they be up in age now, and they should know what's right from wrong. But some yeah, of them but don't not... give a fuck because they don't really be focused on that. They be focused on what's going on at the club, what focus on what a nigga what running behind a nigga, so they're teaching their kids what's right and what's wrong. True. You true. Get what There's I'm one out there, but I will tell you that those older ones that are out there right now, they're in their forties. Uh, probably used to be those sixteen-year-olds, seventeen-year-olds that had kids early, and now their kids are. You know, she was sixteen, and Mama's thirty-six, and Grandma is fifty-two. <laughs> A seventy sixty two, <laughs> so yeah. I mean, it 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 perpetuates through the generations, and and what needs to happen is one of two things. Um, either you would have to basically have some kind of a program that will help these young ladies learn all this stuff before they have the child, which I know they have them out there. I, I don't know about they, here. In, they need to teach I know, them I don't know about school. here in Florida. They need to teach but, them at school. Well, they have all making school. Well, well, they used to. I'm sorry, they used to. They've cut they, out I mean, a lot of. They've cut out I'm a saying. lot of the extracurricular program. I mean, not the extracurricular programs, but they've cut out a lot of the um, electives that actually focused on that because they've been cutting the school budgets instead of basically like cutting the police budget and so they can't buy stuff they don't need and put it into the schools so that we can teach these people stuff and not have them not be able to take care of themselves and wind up having to be on the street. But that's start in the home though. That we should well, we can't you can't put are, that on the school. Yeah we are yeah we are that shit starts like from the home though. It starts from the home. You got yeah, your kids are your first That's team. Just you, from the home. Broadcast. you have to be you have to be mindful of what you're showing your kids. You need to show them stuff that they're going to need when they get older, um, and not all this other stuff that is totally and completely irrelevant. Like, I don't understand where this whole thing with eyelashes came in. I I have no idea. Okay. I <laughs> You know where that I, shit came in. What Betty Boo? Don't Betty Boo got eyelashes on her eyes too? No, <laughs> yes, actually, she has. She yes, has these. She has lines. That's, that's eyelashes. She's a cartoon. She's a cartoon that's, character. Still, listen. And, so you talking and, about everybody wants to be a cartoon character? Let me show you something. I'm gonna say something, right? <laughs> in my time dating women, uh, half of the motherfuckers got Betty Boo tattooed on their goddamn body. You can't tell me a majority of the women got Betty Boo tattooed on their goddamn body. 
I, I I can't say that. I have a big ass dragon on the back of my back. Uh, so I, I I can't I can't bear witness to that. I'm just saying I'll, I'll that these you. eyelashes that that like that look like this. That I saw a video of a girl in my you know one of my chat groups that she has her eyelashes are so thick. It's like you can see about this much of her eyes, and they're like bloodshot. Like, how, how, why, why? I mean, don't get me wrong. Okay, everybody's idea of beauty is going to be different. My thing is, that cannot be healthy for your eyes. And of course, you know me, I'm a pharmacy yeah. technician. I'm going to be all about the health. I don't I care if you so. like what it, I don't care don't if you like what it looks like. Don't. I don't care if everybody likes it. That cannot be healthy. You are probably going to go blind. <laughs> I see with all the chemicals and like stuff that are that close to your eyes. That's, that's how heavy that shit is on the eyes. I'd be like, right, God, exactly. damn. So for me, it's like, that's about the health. That, that has nothing to do with beauty. It has everything to do with health. I mean, that's for me, that's why I don't like it. Like I said, you can, you know, if you like it, I love it. So if you think I that's like beautiful, that that's all great. I like fun. natural, though. I like But you know, I would really much rather like you be able to see. That shit like a turtle. But yeah, I mean, you... Kids are your first, you are your child's first television. Be careful what you broadcast. If okay, you I'm want going, them I'm to finna, become. I'm finna send you a picture, right? And I want you to share it to the screen for people to see what the fuck this is right here. It's, I'm like, when I seen this shit earlier, I was like, what the fuck this is here? Where are you sending it? Um, uh, I'm gonna send messenger? it to you right now. You finna learn how to messenger? Shit. Hold on now. Where are you sending it to? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna send it to Messenger. When you see this shit, you finna say, "What the fuck?" Hold uh, on. Okay, uh, Let me pull up here. Let me pop this on my other screen over here. Hey, you finna friends, laugh? Hey, you see this shit. Okay. You finna laugh? Hold on. You gotta send finna, it to me, bro. <laughs> I was finna repost the shit earlier, right? Look at this shit. Hold on. Why you didn't you? Laugh? Finna... Wait, Hold can't on. you share it? Yeah, I, I, I'm trying to share it to you now. Hold on, I'm sending. No, it to I'm gonna get you share it to the, to the dub. Uh, I'm gonna send it to you, so you know how to be be post that shit. I'll be knowing. Oh. <laughs> oh, no, okay, all right. There you go. Let's see some. You need to turn your ringer off, by the way. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna send this one to you. Message on. You tell me what the fuck this is. I'm I'm looking at mother screen here, so. <laughs> tell me what the fuck that is. I love how to say something to you. Hold on, I'm gonna share. You, you got it? I got okay. I got it. I shared it. I, now, I look shared at this shit. Now. Tell me what you think about this shit. You going to put it up on the screen? I'm going to put it up. Hold on. Let me see. Okay, you got to put it up so everybody else can okay. see it. Look at this shit. What the fuck that is? I, I, I. What that is? Um. She barely no. got her damn eyes up. Good, good. You know, um. Maybe she's just trying to keep, you know, the things from flying in her eyes. Maybe, maybe they're. How the hell? Are you keep got to hold her eyes up. I did. Hey, I got nothing. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have. I have. I don't have. I don't. I don't have. Anything. It's, it's, they got that eyelash got, shit going too far this day. I don't, going too far. I don't know. I don't know. Put the other, I, post the other one up. Post the other oh, one. Oh, you up. see the other one? Yeah. Okay, hold on. Post the second one. Okay. You're gonna give me trouble in here. <laughs> oh, that's the same. No, it's not. It's different. I mean, I mean, it's the same person, but it's a different. Yeah, yeah, but look a, at this a, shit. A different, though. a different hue. Put it, put it up. You put it up. Hold on. Send it to me. Here it goes. Send it up. Put it. Put it. Up. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> hey. It 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 makes my eyes hurt. <laughs> I I I am not kidding. Um, you sounded okay. There you go. It, it's up. 
It makes my eyes hurt. Look at How? That. I like I said, uh, everybody everybody has their own definition of beauty. Um that looks like beauty get, and the look, beast. That looks like beauty she, and the beast, yeah. At least you won't get any rain on her cheeks. Look at that shit. Eyes. Yeah, I I don't I don't know. I don't know. I like beauty don't. and the beast. I don't know. Look how yeah, big. I, look at that. I don't get. I don't like. I said everybody. Everybody's version of, of beauty is different. I just don't. <laughs> I. I've had. I've had my. I've had my issue with beauty. I will tell you. However, um, you put eyelashes on too. I have put eyelashes. Actually, that last. Um, the last picture that I took. Um, my 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 uh come on brain my what's the it? my profile picture my profile picture actually has oh you got you some lashes put on that day on. that was the day i had my um i had yeah, my birth, i had my birthday um photo shoot i had my birthday oh, photo shoot on february 11. so yeah that was here i'm gonna share that You were the shit on that day, weren't you? I was having, I had a great day. I had a good time. It was one of those, believe it or not, it was one of those. You know, it was my birthday. Yeah, you got to I was sitting in my bedroom, but day. I have lashes. I have eyelashes yeah. on. Um, I and no, I, I typically don't wear, I don't wear them. I really, <laughs> I'm really not. I don't wear, I don't wear makeup. I don't wear makeup. The, I mean, I used to, uh, I used to wear makeup daily. When I used to work in corporate, but then I was like, you know what? It's not going to give me any more money. So why? Not to mention, I'm a pharmacy technician, yeah, right? and I work from home. You got a monkey suit on. You got a monkey suit on for that. Oh shoot, that day, did you? Actually, no, I didn't have anything on. <laughs> you had a monkey suit on that day. You know what a monkey I did not suit have... is, right? Yeah, I know what a monkey suit what, is. What a monkey it's, suit is. A monkey suit is when you when you gotta put the 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 what the hell is that? It's the waist trainer and the the whole thing. Uh, no, not a monkey suit. You behind, you behind time, baby. You behind Girl, time. I mean, dude, look. Yeah, monkey suit is, a monkey suit is when you put on good when you fresh when you got on clothes. You like, damn, you put on your monkey suit today. That was called monkey <laughs> well, and and funny, funny, funny thing. I literally was not wearing anything. Like the photo shoot was actually, um, first of all, it's a studio of all women, all the mm -hmm. photographers, everybody, uh, the makeup artists, everything, they're all women. And it was basically one of those photo shoots that is basically empowering. You know, they put you in these poses. And, and I actually I actually did a uh, commentary, not a commentary, it was an essay mm -hmm. on Instagram. And the only reason I did it on Instagram is because my mom's on Facebook. <laughs> I didn't want her to see it. And then come to find out she's on Instagram, so I blocked her. Um, so anyway, um, but yeah, it was one of those photo shoots where you are putting these different poses. And me with all the aches and pains that I have, um, you know, some of the poses were actually kind of hard to maintain to actually get the photos. But once they actually uploaded the pictures and everything, and you're actually looking at the picture, and you're like, oh my God, this came out so good. And yeah, I was literally wearing nothing. But I take that back. Had a, had a, had a piece of cloth, basically. There was one picture that I took where I'm in front of a bright light and I have my arms up like this, and the, the cloth is actually draped from my arms across my back. Mm -hmm. And that picture came out so cool. There's one I'm laying down, and the floor is reflective. So I'm like laying down like a like the sleeping queen or whatever, and you can see the reflection on the floor. I mean, it's just like, okay. Let me see if I can find that. Well, I wanna, okay. One well, question I want to ask you. What's the number one thing that your mom instilled in, uh, instilled in you? <laughs> the number one thing mm -hmm. that my mother instilled in both me and my sister, actually. That you that you 
exercise today? The exercise today is whenever you walk into a place, you walk in there like you own it. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's the post. <laughs> <laughs> That exactly that's exactly what she said. Anytime you walk into anywhere you go in, it does not matter if you walk into the grocery store, the doctor's office, or the dentist office, or a club. You walk in there like you own the place. When I well, my mom, the number one thing she still to me is um if you walk in a place with people, like say like you walk in somebody's house in the living room, you put to say good evening. Oh yeah. That, good that's evening, a, good morning. That, that's just black folks. Good afternoon. <laughs> Well, you, you know, good evening to everybody. Good evening saying. to everyone. That right there, a lot of kids don't even have, they don't even, the day parents, I mean, the women of the day do not teach their kids that. They don't even go inside. Like, like my sons, them, they used to do that shit when they come to my, come to the house. They don't even speak. My son, like, when I say, man, what, do you, y'all don't know what to say? That's ex oh. And that's exactly what they, happens. Women they don't teach their kids they'll, they'll they to speak to people when they go inside somewhere with well, a lot of adults well, in there. They like, don't I'm know sorry. how to speak. Like, well, I'm sorry, you don't speak? Because it's just a sign, it's just a sign of respect. And the thing is, is that the respect is reciprocal. Unfortunately, there's a lot of uh, people out there that aren't respecting their children in a way that they garner that respect. And so a lot of, like, you, as you like to say, your, your baby mama, uh, your kids probably saying. don't respect her. And so that carries, and it's the same thing that what used to happen with me and my ex-husband. They would get over there and they would have their own attitudes or whatever they do over there. And then they come to me and all of a sudden now, everything that I've taught them has just gone out the window. I'm like, hey, wait, no. When you get over here, we say our pleases, we say our thank yous, we say our good mornings, good evenings. We, we've got, you know, the rules don't change just because you just get, you know, for there. And I had to do that for, I mean, at least four years after we got divorced. Because Man, they have listen. their own way of dealing with the kids Let that I something. did not agree with. And Let so they would come back and I would say, okay, look, this level of disrespect that you have for your, I mean, and basically between the two of them, it's like this level of disrespect that you have between you two and what y'all doing to me, y'all need to quit. Let me show you something. I don't. When I used to be going to court, right, at family court, right, and um, you sit down, and you know when the judge your turn, you sit up there in front of the judge. You know I have to say out loud, "Good morning, Yana." Oh, judge, absolutely. Good morning. Everybody, everybody at the table should be saying the, that the, shit. My baby mama <laughs> won't even say. Now one of them won't say a goddamn word. What? They won't say nothing. Oh no! Oh, no so no, that no. lets you know that if they don't say it, the kid they don't teach the kid to say it. Yep. And look now, yep. and that shit got yep. me a long way too. When I go in and say that shit, the judge look at me more oh than they look God. at they motherfucking ass. Yeah, yeah. Because I remember going, I remember going to the court. Man, that's whew. Don't like those memories, but you know, at the same time, we all walked in there. He's on one side of the table, I'm on the other side, and I got my lawyer. He's got his lawyer. First thing to say, good morning, Your Honor. Good morning, good to see you. You know, thanks for having us. Thanks for doing that. Yeah, the respect to actually, you know, you got to teach them. You got, and that's what I'm saying. You have to sometimes literally sit down and talk to your kids and teach them stuff. And if you instill that curiosity in them or if you have that kind of relationship with them where they, like my kids follow me around all over the place. So I had to watch. <laughs> I had to watch what I did because I nicknamed my kids Echo and Parrot. Mm -hmm. My son was Echo. Anytime he wanted something, he if you did not acknowledge him, he would say it over and over and over again, and that does get on your nerves. My daughter would copy everything. <laughs> everything we did. Everything I did. Um, so yes, the kids are your first, you know, you are your child's first television. Be careful with your broadcast. Um, I'm going to pop in here right now because I see some people are actually, uh, watching us on Instagram. Thank you very much for coming in and, uh, tuning into our lovely little podcast here. 
If anybody wants to uh, join us on the air, you are certainly welcome. You don't necessarily have to show your face, but we would love to see it. Oh, On be yourself and keep it's, it real. It's, 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 it's too late for them to join us. We already ran out of time. Yeah, I know. I still got to say it, though. I still got to say it, though. Yeah, ain't nothing wrong with that. I still got to say it, though. But, um... I mean, I like it. it doesn't necessarily have to be this podcast either. It could be the next one or the next yeah, one next, after that. Yeah. And you know, so, you know, we right. always welcome guests because we always welcome other opinions. And we will always treat you with kindness and respect. But we will make fun of you if you're wrong. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. We only make fun of you if you sound like a clown. <laughs> No, everybody, everybody, no, we don't make fun of anybody. Everybody has their own opinions, and we treat each other with respect. And, yeah, at the end of the day, we'll still like you, maybe. <laughs> so I'd like to say thank you, everybody, for chiming in with PSO and Keep It Real podcast. That um, we ran out of time, and um, we would be on back on, what, tomorrow, right? What's tomorrow? Monday? That depends on my day. No, I'm kidding. I actually could do Monday. Monday's kind of well no, actually. Take that back. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's midterm week. <laughs> I got two midterm. I got two midterms this week. Well, if you don't come on, I'm coming on. You regardless. better, yeah. Come on, I yeah, come on, come regardless. On. You know yeah, what I mean? Absolutely. So, I'm gonna have to borrow a co-host. If you don't come on, I had to borrow a co-host somewhere. Oh yeah, you can Hey, get, uh, <laughs> get 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 baby. Give Miss Baby Brown. <laughs> baby, That's you, baby Brown. Where you at, girl? Down, <laughs> I'll get you guys. So, he's, he's pretty cool. Yeah, we, we're going to do something tomorrow. Though. I'm going to figure yeah. it out. But um, well, I'd like to thank, thank you everybody all. for chiming in with us today. And see you later. <laughs>